Welcome back to another vlog, Heaven's on Adventure. Coming at you live with a big fat swollen lip. You guys see this? I was in here being all kinds of healthy, studying, eating broccoli and carrots and hummus, and then my lips like, pfft, nope, not today. Add another allergy to the list. I have such big news to share with you guys at the end of this video. Stay tuned. Fun fact, it is Thursday and I just about signed up for a dog walk tomorrow because I totally forgot I actually have to work tomorrow. So I have training for eight hours, seven and a half hours technically. And I totally forgot about it until just now. So good thing that dog was already taken because I tried to sign up for it and they said swerve. Hello you guys, it is Friday. I am actually working on a Friday. What's up with that? So I have training, I think it's on internal controls. So it should be interesting because I like internal control kind of stuff. So. That's fun. I think it's like a seven and a half hour day. We get an hour lunch. My friend wants to go to lunch. I actually pack the lunch because I'm a good girl. But he wants to go to Chick-fil-A, so it'll be nice to catch up with him. He's also studying for the CPA, so study buddies, yeah. <laughs> so that should be fun. Pretty exciting day. Then I get to come back and have a weekend in Nashville. Guys, I have not been in my apartment for 12 days. When I got home yesterday, it was weird. It literally felt like I was in another place, like I wasn't home. Like my room smelled different. It didn't smell weird, but it had like a scent. And I was like, is this my scent? Is this what people smell? And they're like, oh, that's heaven's scent. Hey guys, walking up Capitol Hill. Here goes the hike. This is a legit hill, guys. You guys don't even see it. I left training. My first classroom training was a success. So many city sounds. It's so loud! I'm not gonna lie, sometimes walking down Capitol Hill is just as hard as walking up with heels. I just left training, guys. It was really good. It was a good training on internal controls and fraud, which if you guys have been watching for a while, you know that fraud is my favorite thing ever as far as accounting and auditing goes. I love reading fraud cases. I read our investigations reports all the time on my free time. I just, I love it so much. So it was actually really fun today. And then for lunch, my friend and I took all the interns out to lunch. So we went to Chick-fil-A. We showed them the other building. So we like walk over there together and everything. Some of them actually had already been in the building. And I was like, how? Like this is only my second time in this building. but. Anyways, they've only been working here for like a week and a half or two weeks. So that was a lot of fun. Um, so they got to ask a lot of questions that you don't really want to ask someone that's worked here for 20 years. Like both of us are kind of new. Um, so I'm sure they enjoyed that. And it was nice to see the new people too. So um, hopefully we were able to comfort them and calm them down because they were still nervous, which I'm still nervous sometimes. And it's been nine months, so I totally understand. Um, so all around a really good day at work. And now I'm sitting in Nashville traffic. For the next hour and a half ish <laughs> he's staring at me while i vlog i'll stare back okay he turned away i won i have to show you the father's day card that i got dad i gotta sign the envelope and stuff hope your father's day is made to order the just the way you like it <laughs> i wrote my message here it says because you're a big deal and the big cheese let us celebrate the amazing dad you are and wish you a sizzling good day now get your buns out there and celebrate <laughs> guys i love it i love it so much happy saturday you guys i've got my wag shirt on because i'm about to be dog walking three dogs the first two are poodles i have walked them before and the owner tips really well so i was like request and the other dog I have not walked, but she's only like two minutes away from this owner. So, kind of works out. This is Klein and this is Calvin. I've walked them before and they're so sweet. Okay, there's no sidewalk over here. We're just gonna walk on the road. I got the bandana on Calvin this time because he was jealous because Klein was wearing it last time. Low key, look at these homes. I'm in Brentwood, Tennessee. They're massive. They're all massive. People got some 
y'all this is Maggie and she's half blind and she has a really bad hip and she is so cute oh my gosh I love this job guys seriously best decision I've ever made so um dog walk number four for the day this is Hank Hank say hello <laughs> we are in Brentwood still you can't see anything but dog number four for the day so I told myself I wasn't gonna walk any dogs today because I needed to study and get some videos up for you guys. So I got two vlogs up. One was a car chat. And ended up walking four dogs. So how much studying did I get done today? Not much. Not much. Here's an update of my postcard wall. If anyone was wanting to know. Look at all of them. There's 35 total. Two of which I've sent myself. So it's kind of cheating. So 33 technically. I love it so much. What's up, you guys? It's Monday. My entire bag just spilled into the floor. 5.45, Monday morning. Only got three hours of sleep. Getting a tripod for you guys. I got a good video idea coming up. I'm cracked down on caffeine. How you doing? Update, you guys. It is still Monday. We're at a rest stop. And I forgot to put on mascara. I put on liner, but forgot mascara. Like, what the heck? Also, I forgot to pack my glasses and my contacts case. So I'm gonna be one blind bat this week. Also, I just woke up from a nap. I did study some. It's a four and a half hour trip. I studied for like two hours and I'm definitely sleeping the rest. So, very sleepy. I got a total of three hours of sleep last night. So I'm definitely struggling. As you guys can tell, there's no telling what else I forgot to pack. Back in the rental, I went grocery shopping, made it back to the hotel, realized that tripod I bought this morning at Walmart at like 5.30 in the morning doesn't come with a smartphone mount like it said it did. So I'm going to return it to Walmart and I'm on the way to Best Buy, which I have a big problem with Best Buy. That's a story for another time, but I hate Best Buy with every cell in my body. But anyways, I'm gonna go spend more money at their store and support their business because they probably have a tripod that actually has a smartphone mount. I actually got a real tripod, 35 freaking dollars. Thanks Best Buy, at least I know it's gonna serve the purpose, unlike Walmarts. Driving this rental is a lot more complicated than it looks, cause I am not used to driving an SUV and this thing feels like I'm driving a freaking tank, like I'm ready for war. But I got the right tripod, so I just returned the one from Walmart. Where is so I got $18 put back on my card and it took out 35 from Best Buy because it was so expensive, literally twice the price. I'm sorry Honda, just wait a minute, to the Lord, wait your turn, that's how America works. God, I can't see, the sunshine is burning my freaking corneas. I literally did all of that, guys, within like 30 minutes, and it was a 9 minute drive there, 9 minute drive back, and I ran inside Best Buy, ran inside Walmart, now I'm gonna need to fix the mirrors for my coworker so he doesn't get irritated that I'm so much smaller than he is. <laughs> Ooh, pull right in. Princess parking. What's up, VIP? That's me. I'm so glad it wasn't made out of one of those packaging where you like can't get into it and it's indestructible because those are so annoying. So, shout out to Best Buy for a friggin' indestructible package. Now I can make videos like this with a tripod. You guys know what that means, right? It means I can vlog and use the bathroom at the same time. Y'all look at those pretty mountains. We don't have that in Nashville. No, we don't. This East Tennessee Mountains. Hey guys, happy Tuesday. I'm in the car waiting on my coworker so we can get to work. I'm a little early, but I don't know what's going to go on today. We're kind of running out of work to do. We're about to start the auto report. So, that's what's up. See you guys later. Hey you guys, I'm finally off work. It is 6 o'clock. Yeah, right at 6 o'clock. So that gives me plenty of time to study. This is kind of the earliest I get to come home. Also, yeah, my freaking room is at the very end of the hall. It's like a never-ending hallway. Here it is. <laughs> hey guys, happy hump day. My freaking card doesn't work. I just got off work. Now I have to go back to the freaking lobby and get this card activated since they failed to activate it. Literally carrying everything. It's been a long freaking day. If this doesn't work, I'm switching hotels. <laughs> just kidding, but not really. <laughs> It works. Thank you, hotel man. So, what's up, you guys? It is Wednesday, 6 o'clock, so you guys know what that means. It's time for me to study until it's bedtime. 
So I try to be real transparent with you guys on my channel to let you know how the daily life of an accountant really is, or an auditor specifically. So when you guys comment, you're like, I'm about to start my auditing career, or I'm taking my first accounting class. I'm like so excited for you because I can relate back to those days for myself. And let me just tell you, time freaking flies. So definitely try to be optimistic and let you guys see how exciting it is and how much I love traveling and being in hotel rooms, even when I mess them up and make my bed look horrible. We're gonna get right in front of that again. I do try to be very transparent, but some days just freaking suck. And today was one of those days. So I feel so ADD right now. I just need to get up and like do something. I don't know. So today my manager came in. He was doing a field review to come review us, you know, whatever. Whoops, scandalous. And this is the first time I've met this manager because I'm on a new audit and every audit kind of has their own managers. I actually had the same manager for my first two audits, so I just got really lucky and she's awesome. I really miss her. Um, and my current manager is cool too, as far as I can tell. Um, but so he came and did the field review. Oh, I cannot talk. I've been doing the component unit part of the audit as I was telling you guys in some of my previous vlogs, the Gatsby FASB junk because we use GASB government standards and the rest of the universe uses FASB financial standards. Um, so I have to convert everything and that's been fine. Everything's been good with that. Um, so he reviewed all those. He didn't see any problems. So everything was good to go. But then he was like, Heaven, you actually, you've just done so much work. Like, you just, do you have anything to do? I was like, yeah, I'm actually working around these two work papers. He's like, actually, do you want to do the, the statement of cash flows? And I'm like, oh my word, dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. That word haunted me all through intermediate accounting. I do not understand statement of cash flows. Just make yourselves comfortable for the time being. Actually, speak for yourself. I'm gonna go change some clothes. Yeah, anyways, my manager was asking if I had any questions, and he was like, just call me if you need help or if it's, like, impossible. And he was like, if you can do pensions, you can do this. And, I, and that was really comforting, because I'm like, I did get through those pensions. I pulled my hair out and cried a little bit, but I got through it. You know, I figured it out on my own. Well, with the help of four other people, so <laughs> maybe this will be the same thing. We'll see. Now that I think about it, I'm not sure why today was so stressful. It, like, lasted so long. Today felt like four days, I swear. I don't know... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Well, I need to move to a more comfy chair. I'm tired of sitting here. What was I literally about to say? I'm so tired. Fun fact, I had a bloody nose at work today. That was random. I'm just sitting there and all of a sudden I felt like I was snotting everywhere and it was freaking blood. So that happened. Also, I bought this at my client today. I switched around his shirt so you guys can't see his logo. It's on the back of him, but he's just so cute. I bought one for my first audit and... I didn't get one of my last audit. I don't know if they had any. So I may have to go back and see or check their website or something. But isn't he so cute? It's like a good little memorabilia for my audits. I feel like I'm just moving around and not getting any topics discussed. The gist of today was that it was a stressful day. It felt like forever. I was freaking starving to death all day. I'm so hungry. Let me go make food real quick. Also, are you guys still waiting to hear the big news that I told you about at the beginning of the video? Keep watching, I'll tell you in like two minutes. <laughs> Does this not look banging? It looks so good. We're about to see. Oh, I forgot to push the time on my microwave. So enough about work, even though I feel like I didn't accomplish anything and all that talking. Accomplish. Words are hard. But y'all, studying for this CPA is no freaking joke. Like, it's no small task. And so many of these people just say, yeah, I took the CPA, or yeah, I passed that exam in five months, or yeah, I think I sat for that. Like, what? This is like the biggest sacrifice of my life. I'm being so e ADD right now. EDD? What does the E stand for? Extra? Probably. I need to study, but I'm really procrastinating because it's my favorite thing to do, like, ever. I'm not dropping on my nose. <gasps> what the f***? Oh my god, my food just exploded. We can't be having that now. It said don't vent the film. So, studying sucks. It's horrible. It sucks the life out of you. You have no social life, no friends, no life in general. You just go to work and then you study and all you do all day is accounting. That's the negatives. The pros are... I don't know, you guys tell me. Just kidding, you get to be certified for life unless you get your license revoked for being a horrible CPA, stealing money, larceny, embezzlement, all of that's on my exam. I am ready to go, but don't ask me about bankruptcy because your girl's clueless. 
I am in Unit 8 of Regulation. Guys, I'm like so hyper right now. I don't even understand. I was like falling asleep all day. This food looks so good but smells so bad. I hate the smell of food. Ugh, off food. It just ugh, takes my appetite right away. Okay, I'm going to wait for that to cool off over there. So, yeah, about the CPA. Is that what I was talking about? I think I've decided that I'm going to take FAR next, or study for FAR next, I should say. But it's time to share the big news that's going to get in the way of me studying for this exam. Are you guys ready? It's really not even that big of news. You guys are probably going to laugh when I tell you. It sounds like the ocean. Holy crap, my forehead is like so oily. You can like fry chicken on this thing. Oh my God. So the big news is that, you guys ready? I'm getting married. Can you guys believe it? Look at the ring, look at it. Guys, I'm just playing. But the real news is, the real is that I am moving away from Nashville. So I just started this job in September. I am staying with the same job. So I will stay with my same organization that I work for. I love my job so, 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 so much. It is literally the best for me, but we have an opening in our Knoxville office, which as you guys know, for all of you have, that have been watching from day one. Mom and dad, hi, I'm moving back home. So I hopefully will have an apartment to my own. I am in the search currently right now to find the best place for me to live. So this will be effective in September, but realistically nothing is gonna change about my job. So the job itself will stay the same, or my life pretty much will stay the same. I just won't be living in Nashville, paying really expensive rent and never being there because I'm traveling every week. I will still be traveling every week, being in the Knoxville office. Um, and actually, the percentage chance of me traveling will actually be greater being in, that, in Knoxville because we have seven audits out of the Knoxville office and five of them are travel, so only two of them are local. If you guys can do simple math, then great, you'll be great accountants. So it is currently the end of June. I find out my test results in a week. I'm gonna try and wait and not look at my results until I take this next exam so that I'm not discouraged in case I failed. That probably won't happen. You guys will hear about it soon. The whole move will be a little stressful on my study process. It's only three hours away and it's in the same state. It's nothing drastic. I'll be moving closer to my family um, and it's still, you know, close, I guess. But physically moving sucks as anybody knows that's ever moved in their life from day one when you move from the womb out to be a human it's pretty stressful this food is literally so hot but i'm so hungry do you guys know there's a state park called hungry mother in virginia fun fact of the day there's lots of fun facts out there you guys should go find them comment below your funnest fact anyways i keep getting all weird <laughs> Can't help it, that's who I am. Hello, I'm weird. So yes, my job will stay the same. Ironic enough, by coincidence, the audit I'm on right now is actually a Knoxville audit, even though I'm not in Knoxville. Um, it's like Knoxville jurisdiction. Um, so I could literally transfer tomorrow as a Knoxville auditor, as we call them, but nothing would change because obviously I'm at the audit site, even though I'm a Nashville auditor. I would have to commute from Knoxville, which means I have to work more and drive less, but I kind of do that already. So long story short, you guys will not be seeing Nashville as much. Um, not that you guys ever do much anyways, because I'm like never downtown. Literally every time I've been downtown, I think you guys have seen it in my vlogs. That's literally it. I don't ever go downtown, except for training for work. Um, and then one time I went to study, but not that often. And I got those postcards at one time. Y'all remember? Hey, if you guys want to send me a postcard, let me know. I got a postcard collection up on my wall. You guys won't be seeing much of Nashville. You will be seeing some Knoxville stuff. I don't even know what our Knoxville office looks like. There's only a couple auditors out there, so it's not like an actual office. I mean, it is. We do have office space, but it's not like this huge building for us type of thing because there's only a couple of us. I haven't even met any of the other Knoxville auditors, but we won't really see each other that much, ironically enough. This job is like so weird if you really think about it because all of my audits, I'm going to be traveling with the Nashville auditors too so literally nothing will change I will just move apartments end of story thanks for listening <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and snip the vlog here end it right here I have no idea how long it is so this could be really short it could be really long you guys will know because you've made it to that point congratulations high five <laughs> that was so rad thank you guys so much for watching please subscribe if you guys want to see more of my messy hotel room and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it stay tuned as I continue this CPA struggle 
It is now currently 6.45. I've been talking to you guys for 45 minutes and I really need to go study and I really don't want to and I hate it so much, but I can't wait to be a certified public accountant one day if I can pass. Lord help me. I'm gonna disappear into nothingness. Okay, bye.